Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the series strategy game, and we're returning to our Le Fridays for Future Let's Play or Fate of the World, where we are trying to stem climate change. We are having a good run over here. Emissions are coming down, they're actually negative. Uh, so that's very great to see. We do still have some regions uh, where there are positive emissions, mostly the Middle East, Southeast Asia, India, and Southern Africa. All of the other regions, though, are contributing actually to scrubbing the air. So let's have a look at India. Uh, see what's going to happen over here. Oh, migration risk. That's no good to see. Uh, but we do see that the coal is now used in industry. The coal, coal is now used in, no longer used in industry. Nationalism. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem. Hmm. I think you should become a little bit more communal, and your water stress is probably what's causing your migration risk. And um, let's have a look at the water use over here. That's still coming up. Water stress should hopefully go down, though. Yeah, very slowly, though course we are playing the desalination card. Um, I think what we should do is subsidize biochar as well because it does reduce agricultural water usage. Nothing else though is a little bit the problem. Hmm. And we could play high yield crop strains. Uh, they do also require less water. That might not be the worst idea. Oh and definitely commit to renewables if you are not producing 100% renewable electricity over here. You're actually using gas and oil so yeah no no no. Commitment to renewables is definitely a good thing in India. Middle East, I think it's probably a similar approach over here. Yeah, you are lacking oil and gas still. But we are committing to renewables. Should be a little bit aware of the storms that are coming. And so much more ca nationalism. Yeah, that's really a problem. We could play vegetarian revolution over here. Um, yeah. What's the biggest problem? I already forgot. Water stress. Oh, storms, yeah, that, that's it. Storms. Okay, adaptations to storms. Eco awareness. You are communal now, so that's great. Let's uh, establish artificial biomes over here. Um, and hopefully, all of this should work out significantly in our favor. Southeast Asia, you should be doing some. You're having some good capacities over here energy sector but you're building up renewables so that should hopefully be okay how are you looking in terms of power yeah you should really be fine actually yeah I think you'll be fine soon bionic decontamination is still a good thing but can we acquire anything over here yeah, that's a quite advanced bioengineering that should at least help Synthetic feedstocks, I'm tempted to take that, but I don't think we have the power to do that yet. Europe. Anything in particular that we should do over here? An integration program? No, definitely not. We do have all the renewables that we could potentially want. We do have the water infrastructure. In terms of news, there's nothing. I can nationalism over here. Why are you nationalist? You're communal. You should not be nationalist. Huh. Interesting. Right, okay. Since we can't do that, um, let's actually think about global bans over here. Uh, I'm thinking we could issue a global ban on unconventional oil. Tar sands and oil shales. Are poison shells, yeah. This is definitely something that's pretty bad, so yeah, let's establish that. We are still continuing to build um, a Mars base, so that's nice to see. Could still try to go for the asteroid mining, although I'm not too sure how that exactly works. Uh, Russia, everything seems to be fine, except there are some storms, so you know what, let's actually react to that and adapt to storms. Other than that, you seem to be fine. You're a materialist, but yeah, you are coming around slowly. China, everything is fine. You're actually at 100%. At 100% renewables? That's news to me. Lovely. Well, that's extremely good news. Yeah, massive build-up of the electricity generation there. 
So, do we need anything else? Desalination problem? I think there was always a bit of a water issue in China. Could do the late retirement over here. You're fairly eco aware. You are doing fairly well, I have to say. China is doing good. Finally, China is doing very, very good. So yeah, let's simply adapt to new tech uh, to to storm. So let's uh, mitigate risks over here. North America, you still haven't discovered AI, which is a little bit weird because this is a negative number now. Northern Africa, I think you're in a bit of a pinch because of the relocation. Um. Shocking refugee fatalities, and probably that's what's causing a lot of the issues elsewhere as well. How is your water stress level? It seems to be coming down slowly, though. Yeah. Well, that's good to see. Well, what else can we do? Acquire high yield crops. I think that's a good idea because that generally gives you better water um, infrastructure. First generation fusion. I don't think that's a. Uh, High priority. We are already at 100% renewables. Could acquire. Well, we could acquire that. Our communal. I think late retirement was a very big thing over here because the population is so tilted towards the elderly and very few working age people. So yeah, I think for Northern Africa that makes a lot of sense. Over here. Um, storm mitigation in effect, yeah that's nice. I don't think we need to change anything over here. You are communal, so that's great to see. You are communal. Yeah, no big news over here either. Very good. You are becoming slowly more eco-aware. You are still consumerist. You are communal now. So actually in Southeast Asia we might want to play a different card. Ah, I'm tempted with the synthetic feedstocks. Or let's actually play bionic decontamination. The synthetic feedstocks, the issue is we are still not producing enough electricity from renewables. I think. So yeah, let's play that another card and the, uh, another turn and that should be fine. Japan, everything seems to be alright. You're still materialist though. Which regions are still materialist? Russia. We are doing, yeah, we're doing something on that, so that's nice to see. So, 6,000 tons, megatons, are being renewed from the atmosphere every turn. That's nice. Mars colony launched. Let's hope that works. Ooh, emissions are coming up in Southeast Asia. India decreasing. This is ooh, increasing in Southern Africa. Unfortunate. People do generally like us, yeah, but emissions are actually fairly stable over here. And the parts per million in the atmosphere is still coming up. Very, very gradually. So yeah, let's have a look at the emissions. I think they are still coming up in this region. It's only these three country three regions now. Middle East has been solved apparently. El Nino, so there's more drought, chance and risk. Don't read that thing, of course. Okay, so let's do adaptations to drought. Other than that, though, you seem to be doing fairly well. What's actually causing all of these emissions? Probably the commercial sector, right? Yeah. Energy is zero. Anything we can do for the commercial sector? Well, I think we have to play these synthetic feedstocks, at the very least. There's no water stress here, that's not the problem. No. I think you're fairly fine. I'm not sure this will. This might overload actually our electricity generation. It's a big risk that we are going to have to take over here. Less sunshine. 
Maybe he still like us. You're doing fairly well. We can do the vegetarian revolution over here. If we haven't played that yet. How about Europe? No spacey stuff? No. So let's acquire the bioengineering thing. Water infrastructure? We didn't really need that. We could, of course, ban global oil production. Do a global ban on... Do you have a global ban on oil? Global ban on conventional oil. I think it's okay. I think we have enough capacity with our... with our biofuels. Let's briefly look at the situation over here. So if we look at oil, synthetics are producing 200 in Europe. We are using 400. So Europe is a deficit of... So we had minus 200. We had minus 100, let's say. Minus 400. So I'm always taking the difference here. So that's uh, minus 400. That's minus 500 in total. Mm, minus 400 in total. Want to be con uh, conservative over here. China should actually produce a lot more, I think. But maybe it's only producing less because we don't... Wait a minute. That's a lot of oil that we are using in Southeast Asia. And it's mostly for the transport sector. Can't we do electric cars over here? Have we not gotten electric cars? Are you not rich enough for that? You certainly must be. Let's build better roads if we can. Oh, we can't. Interesting. There's so, so much used for, for the industrial sector. Uh, for the transport sector. That's really weird. Hmm. Yeah, but it appears it is that way. Well, interesting. Northern Africa, how are you dog guys doing? Water stress? Yes, of course, it's still a thing. Yeah, but it's definitely been coming down now. Great. And that's all due to the desalination program and a little bit of the biome, uh, the biochar. Very little though. Um, yep, yeah, we should get the high yield crops over here. Also acquire third generation biofuels. That seems lovely. Eco awareness campaign over here. No, adapting to anything, so should be pretty good. Dangerous is a risk. Yeah, yeah. You're communal though. Monsoons, so droughts. Yeah, but we are playing that already. We're becoming more eco aware. We still haven't got the AI, which I really would like to get. Is there anything missing over here? Second generation nanotech is 22 years away. Are researching that anywhere else? Maybe no shame. I thought we'd be researching that. Do we use to research? Oh yeah, no, we are. 25 years, 22 years. Hmm. Okay, let's keep on just looking at the news and see whether there's anything that we need to be concerned about. Droughts. We are playing adaptation to draw, so that's nice. Still some water stress in India, but we are doing the desalination program. Do we have the high yield crops? Yeah, so let's use that because it does mean we are using less water. And that should be okay. So are we banning global oil? This might backfire dramatically. Maybe it's a little early to do that. I don't want to, you know, on the on the final run over here, do something immensely stupid. And yeah, everything else though in Europe seems to be fine. Do high yield crops? I don't think it's important. We need to adapt to anything. Not really. 
I'm not sure whether we need to play this continuously. I'm going to play it another time to see whether it just needs to trigger. And go for the next turn. New temperatures are coming up. Resource demand outpace supply in the energy sector. That's bad. And we've got a breakthrough in artificial intelligence. That's very, very nice to see. Has brought mining projects successful, so that's also good to see. Miscarriage, Mysterio haunts Martian colony. Colonists are leaving Mars. Life on the Red Planet was grim, reliant on supplies from Earth for subsistence. Subsistence. For many miscarriages proved the tipping point. For many miscarriages proved the tipping point, with babies conceived on Mars dying in the womb. There's no future here, says colony leader Lars Hearing. Okay, so that's actually our first space-related failure. So actually, we've been we've been fairly blessed over here in Europe. So. Yeah, I mean, this is bad, but on the other hand, we did get the positive things as well. So that's nice, you know, including the astronaut mining. That was successful. Potentially need to play it continuously. We're going to try another time for the Mars colony over here. Maybe with a little bit better protection. Emissions are fairly okay over here. We don't need to be too concerned with anything else. But what we could do is adaptation to draw it so that... Wildfires are a little bit less likely in Europe. How oh, are emissions are still coming up again, and parts per million, uh, parts per million, parts per million, whatever, are still coming up ever so slightly, even though emissions are are small. Southeast Asia is coming up here again. I think that's probably due to the fact that we did play the. Yeah, energy sector is in a big issue because we did play that one card. We do need to continue to commit to renewables over here then. Yeah, there's a big gap. Energy produ production is really not sufficient and it's covered by gas and oil. Unfortunate, but we can't do that much about that. Okay, and over here we did discover the AI. The AI should allow us to do a lot of funny things. Vegetarian revolution, yeah. Still materialist though. Artificial biomes, artificial trees, adaptations to drought. Is that something that we do need? I mean, wildfires in North America are always very bad, but we could play the meteorological AI. Um, it's pretty good. We could play the market AI. It doubles all sector GDP while active. Prevents local financial collapse while active. I think there's, this is a very great card. Job sharing initiative. Security AI. Stability and militancy. We are very stable. Oh, next borders. Hmm, interesting. I think the market AI is very important in North America. Reason being that North America is already has a very high commercial sector. Um, and I think that would cancel that out. How's North Africa doing? Yes, he's got water stress issues. We shouldn't have that much anymore. 55%. I think it's coming down now a little bit more quickly. No, still very linear, but still very good. Um, you should acquire... No, no, no. Acquire the artificial intelligence, I believe. And you know what? In North America, we can... All of these things are still important. Over here, the subsidized biochar is probably the least important. But yeah, still everything else is important as well. You're doing good. You have suspiciously low emissions. Renewables are fine though. Hmm. No, you're still lagging far behind in technology. You can do the vegetarian revolution, so that's what we're gonna do. And adaptation to storms is probably not required at this moment. So let's instead uh, acquire the AI. 
you're already altruistic, so let's actually drop out of this and let's go for the market AI. Oh, I can't. Uh, I do need first to acquire this. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. You're balanced. Um, I think we can do a little bit better than balanced. And everything else is okay, so let's go for acquiring artificial intelligence. China, you should also do that. Let's get rid of the biochar. I think it's not that critical. Should look at the news though. Crop contract renewal threat, okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Can get rid of this and then we can renew that contract. Just want to briefly check over here. Yeah, no, that seems to be fine still. Yeah. India then. Water stress? Yeah. Lots of problems, but I think we are building up renewables so quickly. Tidal potential actually is immense over here. Even solar is coming up nicely, so I think we are slowly crowding out all of the other things that we don't need. Synthetic feedstocks would be great. Specifically over here. Let's acquire the AI. You are communal now, so I think I want to drop out of this to acquire the AI. Ooh, we should be dealing with draws though. Just with carbon wrecks might not be the most important. I'm much more concerned about wildfires down here. Japan is balanced. You are communal. Balanced. Communal. So we don't need to. Can get rid of this for a second. And acquire the new technologies over here. No El Nino or any other event. Not as far as I can tell. Okay, so let's go into the third round. It's looking good. Mars Colony tries again. Lessons from prior failures are being taken into stride and a new batch of brave settlers embark on a mission to colonize Mars once again. Southeast Asia decreasing its emissions. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah, so that should net us very, some very nice negative number over here. Yeah, it's actually decent. How are our, stat, our stats looking? You see, this is this is something I don't quite understand. The parts per million um, of CO2 is coming up, even though we have negative emissions. So I think technically this should be coming down. Uh, I know there might be some retardation effect with the oceans and everything. Um, but to me, it seems like this should be coming down a little bit more quickly. How is oil actually be, being produced? Total oil production. Class ends shale oil. The aesthetics aren't over here. Gas production. And a lot less gas production. But that's fine. It's actually nice if we don't need that much of it. Very little uranium being used. Right, so we do have some more time, so let's actually check on what we can do. Yeah, these these uh, turns are getting a little bit more quicker over here. So no big shift here with the AI. Could of course play the meteor meteor meteorological AI and get rid of the adaptation events. Might not be the worst idea. Let's go for a market AI over here as well. You're fairly altruistic already, so no changes required there. Market and meteorological AI. Hmm. Do we want a oh, security AI? No, I don't think we need that. Oh, that's nice to see. Reduce working week. So I think that means the unemployment here is much better now than it was before. Great. Good to see. Commerce. Mm. All in all, I'm fairly good with the situation in 
in Europe, actually. So yeah, we might as well continue the Esperon mining. Southeast Asia is still one of the few regions that uh, emits positive amounts. Yeah, and you are still struggling with the electricity produ production. Yeah, but you're doing much better, turn by turn. Uh, it's a bit serious to see this coming down though. So can I actually look at these numbers? Solar power is not increasing by that much. Yeah, we do have a bit of an issue here. Yeah, I think Southeast Asia does need at some point, at the very least, the second generation fusion. But we're going to get that at, at a not too distant future. That's nice to see. You're still materialist though. Yeah, everything is fine. Water stress should be coming down. I think it was at 59-ish. 42. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. Um, first generation fusion. Certainly a bad, not bad idea. Meteorological AI. Yeah, I think that's nice. So we don't need the adaptation or anything. Russia. Meteorological AI drop out of adaptation to heats and drought. You are starting to become communal, that's nice. Uh, transport efficiency is always good, I guess. But you know what? Vegetarian revolution is even a little bit better. China. Storm and flop. Adaptation, I think we can do with the meteor meteorological AI. We should also play the market AI over here. It's a fairly important country. Ooh, and commit to renewables, because you are slipping out of that, aren't you? You're still using uranium. Still, I think that's a good decision. I'll be here in the Middle East. We do see, yeah, you are all veggies now. Turbine tax, uh, meteorological AI, always a decent choice. It's a quite a high yield crops. I think they're fairly down the, yeah. So we can still play nanomedicine. What do we have over here? We have nearly everything. Well, only fusion and, and the other things are missing. Okay, Japan, you are as well communal. Um, but let's acquire the AI. India, how are you doing in terms of electricity? Fairly good, I think. So we might play the synthetic feedstocks and commit to renewables because we'll need more power if we do this. Yeah, all of the rest looks good to me. Oceania, what are you doing? Tech booming, oh, that's nice. Uh, let's play market AI over here. I hope that settles some of their issues with unemployment. Southern Africa. And meteorological AI. So we can get of this, rid of this and that. And get the market AI. And you are looking fairly well to be honest. Let's acquire biofuels. It's always a good thing. And then we have Latin America. Um, are you veggies? I think you're a veggie for more. Shouldn't necessarily have to subsidize biochar. Okay, so market AI is probably not a bad choice. Yeah, you're looking fairly good. a little bit of a eco-awareness in Northern Africa. Are we actually still playing? I want to check out the population over here. Yeah, so the working age adults have increased significantly compared to the elderly. And that's nice to see. Yeah, that was a good choice. 
point. Everything else seems to be fine, so... You know what? Let's just hit the end of the turn button, and then next time we're going to look at the next episode. This is okay. Second generation nanotech breakthrough, also very good to see. Esperot mining project successful. Some sickness decimates Martian colony. The, the, the dome sickness. No, 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 that's not good. That's not good. Support is still high. Emissions are still negative, so that's nice to see. Yeah, dome sickness, that's not good. Market has been kind to us though. And we can play new things. So, the orbital factory, for example. Mars base. I think it's only the orbital factory. Nanomedicine program. Ha. Well, I'm not sure this is a good thing to play, but... You know what? Let me know in the comments, because I'm going to have to put in a cut into this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you guys next Friday. Bye-bye.